When the Giron Country Club uh, decided to make the changes, upgrade the course to make it competitive to any other golf course in Singapore, uh, they went about and, uh, and had tenders from uh, a number of golf course architects. And uh, Ted Parslow and myself, Jeff Parslow, uh, that company was selected. And I think probably uh, selected for, for a number of reasons. One is a, that I'm a professional golfer for 45 years. And I've had a lot of experience in the game. And uh, I'm a real strategist in anything I do, with, particularly on golf course design. Ted is a civil engineer and he's been a, a scratch player himself in his younger days. And uh, secondly, uh, we, when we, we actually did KLGCC, where the Malaysian Open is being played next week. And uh, we're becoming now well known because of our quality of work. And uh, we're putting the same quality of work into this course. Things that people don't see much, such as drainage, and particularly in our bunkers, is a, we're, we're using a bunker mat uh, in all our bunker construction. So as you can see now, bunkers are not half hidden. They're actually, you can see the splash ups where you can see what's in front of you. And even in uh, monsoonal rains, the amount of erosion uh, that takes place with the advent of this bunker mat is minimal. So the shapes of bunkers will remain as is for much longer periods of time and aesthetically obviously much more pleasant to look at. Then about four years ago, uh, I was playing on the European Senior Golf Tour and uh, we played actually a tournament at this golf course and I remember distinctly this particular hole had three little ponds which the water quality was not very good. The water covered most of the front of the green and for professionals it made no difference but for the lady or amateur golfer it was I thought very unfair. So what we've done now is sort of compromised. All the three ponds are now one big lake. The water quality is obviously uh, fine quality. The hole is now fair, as you can see, if you're a long marker or a short, short hitter, you can actually roll the ball onto the green and don't need to carry it over water. However, the amount of uh, potential hole locations is quite dramatic, making the hole from relatively simple to extremely hard. A back right pin position, you'd have to be Tiger Woods at his best to be able to be confident to get within a, a birdie putting distance. So it, again, it takes course management and, uh, and, and a great deal of, uh, of, of, of bravery to go to a back right pin position. So all the allocations of, of the whole location are, are enormous on this hole and we feel this will be a hole where anyone that walks up the three will be very happy. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just endorse what Jeff said. That's, uh, the, the earlier hole was, the green was much smaller. I said, uh, in a lovely location, nice downhill hole, but it was unfair to the uh, majority of players given that the lake came a lot further out in front of the green. And so you're either off the green or you short of the lake or in the lake. Now there's uh, the player can choose to play left and have to be left in the long ship and play for a very long time. Uh, depending on their, on their capability, on their ability, the, the whole is sort of central, uh, uh, fairer. There are challenges, as Jeff said earlier, if the pit is back right position, perhaps it's too risky to drive. Does it really want to go senior tournament four years ago, this particular hole, the water used to go right across to a very, very narrow opening, right across the fairway. Again, you had to make up your mind whether you hit drive it and carry it, uh, and you get, maybe get into trouble, you had to be very precise, where you laid up short. And I thought the hole lacked a little bit of uh, character because it became a negative hole, basically. Now we're Change the whole shape of the of the uh, lake as you 
that we explained from the sixth hole. It's all about one big lake rather than three small. We've got a, an element of fairway, but if you pull a little bit to the left, obviously it's, uh, it's going to, the bunkers there, which is the numerous bunkers, are going to trap the ball that's not accurate off the tee. And conversely, if you lick the ball a little bit to the right, you've got your water hazards. So there again, you make up your mind from the back tee whether you hit a, say, a, a, a hybrid club, uh, to the widest part of the fairway, or if you're really brave and you're a long hitter, you can actually hit a, hit a driver. Mm -hmm. and a good solid drive can probably just carry that right hand, uh, that right hand pond. How much uh, do you need to carry in order to clear the pond over to, to the right side? Uh, about 60 meters, I think. Yeah, it's, it's, so it's, you've got to be, got to be a strong hitter to do it. But there's all, there's so many different ways in which you can play this hole now. But every shot, or two shots to get on this par four hole, which isn't overly long, has to be two very precise shots. Uh, so I think now the, the hole is fair for all, and uh, strategically is very interesting, and aesthetically I think you'll agree, very pleasant. Oh, definitely. So uh, maybe you can talk to talk a little bit about the bunkers at the end there. Uh, previously there was uh, none, is that correct, or no? No, no, no there were, I think, no bunkers on the left-hand side. So as part of sort of widening the fair out this way, part of that was also to uh, protect a little bit more the out of bounds there, so less balls had the opportunity of going out of bounds onto the main road. Um, and also, there was the bunkers to define that uh, the width of the fairway from 150 metres from the tee out to about 250 metres, so they, the result in the fairway being quite wide, 150, still wide, about 180. Narrow, narrow, narrow to about less than 20 metres and around about 230. So basically trying to also promote the average golfer thinking on the tee, I've just blasted away with my driver and who knows it might go out of bounds or the lake, but try to make him really think I, if I want a good score, I should be a bit sensible on this hole and uh, play to a wider target area. Try to make him emphasize to the player that there's, there's a way, that the best way to go to, for your score to be the most likely best to score in the longer term and, and at the same because of that protecting a little bit out of, out of bounds which is kind of important as well. Right.